take a sharp right into here. Okay, impress him. Peter Bates. I'm now going to play a flute sonata <laughs> without a flute. <laughs> Actually, that's not the case. Um, Let's tell a story. I was a freshman in college and I was flunking physics. And the professor knew this, of course. And at the end of the semester, he threw down the gauntlet and he said to me, I have a test for you, Bates. Um, and if you can answer one question, an oral question, in front of the entire class, I'll consider passing you. Oh, I didn't like that word, consider. <laughs> so I said, all right, I can't pass this up. And he then the next day asked me a question. He said, I'm going to give you a very mythical, sensitive barometer. I want you to determine the height of this very tall building right here at the college. How are you going to do it? And I said, oh boy, what luck. I know the answer to this question, but he's not going to get it. I said, well, first I'm going to take a long, long coil of rope, climb to the top of the building, tie the rope around the barometer, and lower it until it hits the ground, and then measure the rope. He said, that's not the answer. <laughs> See, the answer was, I can even say this ahead of time. The answer was I was supposed to take the barometric pressure at the bottom and then compare it to the barometric pressure at the top of the building and then apply a physics, some physics formula that, I, that is escaping me right now. <laughs> but it didn't escape me then, but I wasn't going to give him that. He said, that's not the answer. So I said, okay, I'm going to take the barometer and I'm going to hold it up against the building and then I'm going to hold it again a little bit higher and I'm going to calculate the height of the building in barometer units. At the very top. And he said, that's not the answer either, Bates. So I said, I'm going to go to the top of the building. I'm going to go there with a stopwatch. I'm going to throw the barometer off the building and figure out how long it takes to hit the bottom and then time it and apply this for the, you know, that 1 over G squared formula. And he said, that's it, Bates. I said, no, no, give me one more. One more chance, please, please, one more. The fourth one. And he says, all right. And I said, I'm going to go with the barometer to the maintenance shed, ask the maintenance person how tall the building is, and give him the barometer as a reward. <laughs> well, he shook his head, and he said, you know the answer, don't you? And I shook my head, I just shrugged and walked off. I got an F plus. <laughs> anyway, that's how I will end. Thank you. Uh